Mengelawa Shen. I'm Oma and welcome to Oma Discoverings. Today, I would like to make you discover one of my favorite destinations in Myanmar. I love this place because it is very different and unique from any other cities that I have visited. It has been called the hidden treasure of central Myanmar. Let's find out together. The place I would like to introduce you is called Mong Yua. Mong Yua is one of the biggest cities in central Myanmar. It is on the northwest of Mandalay. It is also a trade center for India and Burma through Kalim Yua and Chinit River. Let's break down Mong Yua in Myanmar. Mong Yua in Myanmar we call Mo is a snack or a cake and Yua is a village. It is called a snack village. During the Myanmar King time, a king visited to this village and he met with a cake seller. He really fell in love with her and he made her his queen. It is how people call about the name of Mong Yua. There are a lot of interesting places in Mong Yua. The first place I would like to introduce you is called the Colorful Tempe or Tembo de Pagoda. It is 12 kilometers away from Mong Yua. I call it colorful because I have never seen so many colors in one temple. Most of the temple I have visited are gold color or sometimes white color. But here at Tembo de Pagoda, you will see green color, pink color, red color, and gold color. And it is very beautiful. It is also a home for 500,000 Buddha images, which you can see they are enshrined on the wall, pillars, and the whole entire pagoda compound. It is a very peaceful environment, and you can also learn about some Buddha images when you go, and it is really nice place to take a lot of good pictures. The second place I would like to introduce you is called Mahabodhi Patang Pagoda. Let me translate for you in Myanmar. Maha means very big, huge. Bodhi means uh, the holy trees for Buddhists because the Buddha got the enlightenment when he was meditating under the Bodhi tree. The town means 1000. It means 1000 Bodhi trees. Just beyond the Bodhi tree, you will find a huge reclining Buddha and one of the tallest standing Buddha in the world. So the standing Buddha is 129 meter tall. In 2008, it became the one of the tallest statues in the world. Now it is on the number three position. So the first is from India, the unity of India. The second is from China, the spring Buddha temple from China. And our standing Buddha is in number three position. And you can go up to the, the top level of the standing Buddhas. There are a total 31st floor. So you can go there by elevator or by the stairs. So if you go by the stairs, you will see a lot of Buddha images and the life of the way of Buddha uh, teachings in each uh, level. But uh, sometimes the elevator is not working. And there is a challenge and we call the, the top level is called the Nick Banna, called the heaven. To reach to the heaven, you need a lot of effort. So take the challenge and go up to the top by walking. Most of the people feel because it is very long and very hot inside to go up and you know people usually feel it. But I know you can do it. So take a challenge and go up to the top by walking. And at the top you will see the amazing panoramic view of Mong Yua City. The last but not the least, the place I would like to introduce you is called Po Wen Dang. It is just 25 km away from Mong Yuan. I really love this place and I found this place amazing because the caves and the buildings are very Asian architecture styles and the painting inside the buildings are so fabulous. I have been visited a lot of caves in Myanmar, but not like Po Wen Dang. In my point of view, these caves deserve as part of the UNESCO World Heritage like Begem. And when you go to this place alone, you never be alone because you will find a lot of monkeys there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are interested more you are to visit, you can put it in your bucket list. If you have any other places that you like me to present, please leave the comment as below. Thank you very much and I will see you in next video. Ta-da!